In this movie, we'll be discussing the various units of measure that Illustrator makes available to you. And you can work with any unit you like, whether inches or millimeters or what have you. But I'll be working with the default unit of measure, which is offered by the U.S. English version of Illustrator, which is points. And the reason is because points are a very tiny unit of measure, and they're the worldwide standard for measuring type and line weight. So let me show you what that looks like. I'll go up to the file menu and choose the new command, or again, I can press Control N or Command N on the Mac. Units is presently set to inches, and that's because I changed it to inches in a previous movie, and Illustrator is remembering that. But again, by default, it's points. So let's explore what we have here. In all, we have six units of measure, five that are designed for print, and then pixels, which is generally your best option if you're creating a screen graphic, whether it's for the web or for a device. Well, let's say we're going with print here. Then we have three imperial units of measures, points, picas, and inches, and then we have the two metrics, millimeters and centimeters. And so you're probably well aware, even if you don't know the first thing about the metric system, that 10 meters makes a centimeter. But what I'd like you to see is how these various units of measure compare to each other. So what I'm gonna do is cancel out of this dialog box, and then I'm gonna switch over to this document that I've created in advance. And just so you understand what's going on here, there are 12 points in a pica, and then there are six picas in an inch. And so what that means is that there's 12 times six, or a total of 72 points in an inch. And so that might just sound like so much gobbledygook if you've never heard that before, which is why I've created this little diagram over here. The distance between the red lines is an inch. The distance between each of the black lines is a pica which is why we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six picas inside of an inch. All of the lines, with the exception of these little arrow lines right there, are exactly one point thick. And so that's why I say points are the standard for measuring all kinds of small stuff, type, line weights, and so forth. And you might think, well, one point is awfully darn thin, but actually you oftentimes go even thinner than that these little arrow lines next to the word one inch are just a half a point thick or 1 44th of an inch. Now, many of you may be more comfortable with metrics, in which case you're most likely to work with millimeters just because they're the smaller unit. And just so you have a sense of how they compare, one inch is almost exactly 25.4 millimeters or two and a half centimeters. One pica is 4.23 millimeters, and one point is 0.35 millimeters. That is to say about a third of a millimeter. It's that small. And so over here on the right, we can see that the red lines are still an inch apart from each other. Each of the black lines is one centimeter apart, which is why we can fit about two and a half centimeters in this space. And then each of the lines are now one millimeter thick, which is pretty darn thick, almost three points a piece. Now, what's great about this is Illustrator doesn't lock you into any given unit of measure. You can switch back and forth between everything we've seen as much as you like. And you do that just by adding an abbreviation to your numerical value. So for example, if I return to the file menu and once again choose the new command, and let's say I go ahead and set the units to points as by default, well, even though I've been in this business for about 30 years, even I don't know what a page width of 432 points looks like, which is why I might just enter 8IN for a page that's eight inches wide. And then if I press the tab key, notice that Illustrator goes ahead and does the math automatically for me. I could also enter something like 500 millimeters if I wanted to, and then press the tab key. And again, Illustrator will go ahead and do the math. Or if I'm looking for centimeters, then I could enter something like 100 cm instead. All right, now let's say you're a little bit comfortable with picas and points. And so you wanna make the bleed, let's say two picas. Then what you do is enter two P like so, and then press the tab key, and notice that Illustrator goes ahead and converts two picas to 24 points. If you wanna enter both picas and points, you could say something like 2P6, and what that means is two picas, six points, like so. And then press the tab key, and Illustrator updates everything automatically. And it turns out it gets even simpler than that. Let's say I want three quarters of an inch of spacing between my artboards. I could just enter three slash four and a double quote for the inches. And then as soon as I press the tab key, Illustrator is going to do that math automatically. 
All right, so that was just for the sake of demonstration. I don't really want to create this document, so I'm just going to go ahead and click the Cancel button. So again, you can work with whatever unit of measure you like, but you should know that here in the States and elsewhere throughout the world, the design industry is organized around pikas and points.